If there is one thing the KSL investigators are pretty good at. What's half of 75? Get your calculator out again. 72? Man, it's got to be basic math. You know, counting stuff like 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 5, 6, 7, 8, And when it comes to counting coins. 5, 10, 15, 20. Oh, those nickels are heavy. We're as good as gold. From quarters and dimes. You need nine more rolls. To nickels and so the pennies will be easy. There we spent hour after hour counting more than two thousand dollars in loose change. We're gonna need twenty rolls of dimes. And while that may seem like a colossal waste of time, if you're like John Evans and your business depends on it, and then the coins down in here, accuracy means everything. It's someone's job. It's 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 our livelihood. Choice vending supplies, machines up and down the Wasatch Front, chips, candy, soda, you name it, and what many consider to be spare change has become his paycheck, a paycheck determined by the accuracy of a machine. It'll break it down to how many fives, tens, twenties, how many quarters, nickels, dimes were put in. Now John has a couple of money counters of his own, giving him a pretty good idea of what he has earned before taking it to the bank for a final count. But for you and I, unless we count coin by coin by coin on our own, we are at the mercy of these automated machines. And if you're wondering just how accurate they really are, well, so are we. And that is where the seemingly frivolous counting comes into play. $2,400 straight up rolled and straight from the bank. KSL investigators carefully counting loose change, filling eight bags, each with $300 in coins. All right, so it took us all day to load up these bags with coins. That was day one. Day two, we're gonna cart these things off and get them counted at the machines. Chosen at random, we hit grocery stores and credit unions all across the valley. Machine after machine, we dumped our coins and watched as they were counted. This America First credit union off by 30 cents, counting all of our change with the exception of three dimes. So we took our bag of money to another branch. This one's shorting us a quarter, but tacking on a couple of extra pennies. What, off 23 cents? We also hit a couple of Mountain America credit unions. Now, they don't let you dump the coins yourself, so we handed our bags to the tellers, one of them coming back 76 cents light, and the other apparently trying to make up for it. All right, so Mountain America credit union actually made money on this one. 300 bucks and 18 cents. This is where I'm going to start taking my change now. Not finished yet, we grabbed our bags and started pouring them into these Coinstar machines at local grocery stores. One of them off 10 cents, another off 9 cents, and one of them breaking down in the middle of county. Management forced to unclog the guts of this machine. Now, quick side note here, coin counters are designed to count coins, not bottle caps, your meds, springs, batteries, bullets, or lint-covered wads of hair. Now, in the end here, the machine gave us an extra penny, but shortchanged us a nickel and two dimes. Yeah, I, I want them to be accurate. That would be my take. Teresa Hunsaker is a consumer educator with Utah State Extension, and we showed her our findings. On average, the coin counters were off 18.5 cents for every $300. Now, for most of us, she says, no big deal, right? But when these machines are in banks and credit unions... And on the flip side of that, I have to be accurate. Why don't we expect them to be accurate? She raises a valid point. A point John has made for the past 25 years he's been in the vending business. Accuracy is his livelihood. And while a few miscounted coins here and there isn't going to put him out of business... Maybe a dollar, two dollars will be misplaced. The reality is... It is such a minor loss when you compare it with the alternative. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 